Peggy 18. The Division 2 is a third-person cover-based shooter, and utilizing good cover movement and positioning will provide you with a tactical advantage over your enemies. Without cover, you will generally find yourself vulnerable to enemy fire, and it will put you at great risk when encountering threats in the game. In any case, you'll find a lot of cover out there in DC, which you'll be able to use to your advantage, keeping yourself out of the firing line. You can take refuge from enemy fire in many different places by pressing the cover button. A prompt will appear when your agent is close to a usable cover. You can also swiftly move from one cover to another by aiming at a nearby destination and then pressing and holding the cover button. Keep this in mind if you're looking to close the gap on your enemies or take refuge in a better position. Don't forget to use sprint to find a better tactical position and use vaulting over cover to either get out of the way of enemy fire or close the gap on your target. To aim, press and hold the aim button. You can then fire your weapon with the fire button. Aiming from behind cover will make you partially vulnerable, so keep an eye out for incoming hostile fire. You can also shoot blindly from behind cover, and while you will experience a loss in accuracy, you will not forfeit any of the protection you gain from cover. After exchanging fire, you should consider reloading to make sure your magazine is full and ready for action. You can switch between your two main weapons after unlocking the perk that allows you to have a secondary weapon. By double tapping, you can quickly reach for your sidearm, which can be important if your primary or secondary weapon needs to be reloaded at an unfortunate time. If you take sustained significant damage, press and hold the armor kit button to recover your armor bar. Your armor bar will not regenerate while you're in combat, so make sure you don't get caught in the open without that layer of protection. Grenades can also offer a powerful tactical advantage. The damage they can put out is fantastic, but you can also use them to flush an enemy out of cover, leaving them out in the open for an easier shot. To throw a grenade, hit left on your D-pad, line up your intended target and hit the fire button to throw. At any time, you can cancel throwing your grenade by hitting the button on the D-pad again to pull out your firearm. These basics will stand you in good stead with your first engagements in The Division 2, and will be vital to your success as an agent throughout the game. Don't forget all the tools you have at your disposal though, you'll definitely need all of them when your back is up against the wall.